Hello everyone. Welcome to our new series of lecture on Indian sociology. So we are discussing Marxian perspective and today we will be discuss A.R. Desai. Right. So A.R. Desai or, or Akche Ramanda Desai was an Indian sociologist, Marxist and social activist. So some of his works are Social Background of Indian Nationalism, Rural Sociology in India, Peace and Struggle in India, etc. He even works on various segments on caste system, Buddhism and Jainism, and even in capitalist mode of production. His viewpoint on caste system was actually, uh, he said, Aryans invade and destroy the primitive mode of production which has existed in India and it is dominated by the upper caste. He even talks about Buddhism and Jainism where he said that these are some of the anti-Brahmin mov movements. Okay, Next he also talks about capitalist mode of production where he said that machines had declined the rights of peasant. He, he had even uh, discussed or you can give a constructive argument related to 1857 revolt, which was basically a revolt of capitalism versus feudalism. According to him, it was not a revolt between Indians and British, but it was capitalism versus feudalism. So uh, we are discussing modes of production, relation of production in the earlier classes and even today. So let's get a brief introduction of these two particular terms. Although we will be discussing this uh, thing in, in a detailed manner when we are dis will be discussing Karl Marx. So basically mode of production is a means of production. You know in a production system we required capital raw material, machines, etc. So these are the modes of production. Whereas relation of production is actually some total of social relationship that people enter in order to produce something. So this may be either capitalist class or the working class, right? So this is about mode of production, relation of production. Actually, A.R. Desai said that social relationship of Indian society is the basis of property relation and his work on Indian nationalism is the result of the material condition that is created by British colonialism. He had uh, made a classic analysis about the genesis of Indian nationalism from social perspective by adopting historical approach. So here we will discuss uh, social background of Indian nationalism and he had talked about few phases. We will be discussing some of the phases that he has discussed in his particular book. So the first phase according to him is actually the feudal lords which had engaged themselves into industry under British. So under British rule the whole system get change that's why he talked about that's why he said that yeah the the modes of production has been changed right so next is uh, both industrialist and middle class has started more mass mobilization against the british rule right he even said that uh, democracy without democratic participation is like state without economic and political freedom. Though this thing has been criticized later by different sociologists which we will be discussed in the next slides. But for now you just remember these three points. And the fourth one is national readers try to adopt policy not to wipe out class inequality rather they try to glorify the nation. According to Desai, the, there is a transfer of, transfer of power from the minds of external coloni, 
जाए टू इंटरनल कॉलेनाजाइस सो दिस मीन्स ही बेसिकली क्वेश्चन द फंडामेंटल मोटिव ऑफ गांधियन पॉलिटिक्स वे ही ट्राई टू एक्सप्रेस हिज डाउट्स वेदर गांधियन अप्रोच कुड रियली रेस्क्यू द कॉमन इंडियन मासेस फ्रॉम एक्सप्लटेशन एंड मिजरी और इट जस्ट इज जस्ट इन ऑर्डर टू मेनटेन पीस एंड ट्रैंकुलिटी इन द नेशन सो ही ट्राई टू से दैट ऑल दो नेशनल लीडर्स हैज ट्राई टू एडॉप्ट दोज पॉलिसीज नॉट इन नॉट टू सपोर्ट द मासेस just it uh, there is a transfer of power from the british rule to the elite classes right so there are lots of criticism of uh, ar desai the first one is given by andre bette who said that peasant movement are the sign of democracy here you will see that uh, desai has talked that there is no democratic participation but andre bete has pointed out that peasant movements are what these are nothing but the sign of democracy whereas yogendra singh said that marxist theory never looks for social change then how the social change comes to india right third criticism is from jyoti basu who said that marxist studies uh, ignore the aspect of religion we don't find the religion aspect in the marxist ideology the next criticism was given by gal mombet who said that marxian theory talks about only two polar classes but india we find inequality in almost different classes that exist we cannot say that there are only two polar class classes that exist in india right so this is these are some of the criticism of ar desai So that's all for today. Hope you like our food. Thank you for watching.